Hello, in this Visual Basic programming tutorial, I am just going to show you forms. So we set up a GUI project. So forms, which is this thing right here. So if I run it, so let me just load up. And this little thing right here is a form. And this is what you would add all your items to. And you can you know, do stuff like resize it. And let me show you some properties for form. So, the, so this is a form right here. And you know you can get some property. You got the regular minimize, maximize, and close buttons. If you select it and go to properties, you can select you know the background color. So you could change that up if you wanted to. I'm gonna set it back. It was I think it was control light. And like all the properties that you can think of can be set here. If you want to change the name of it, so you know that name that pops up. So instead of saying four one, you can not. You don't want to change it. The, ooh, ooh. Yeah, you want to change it as the text. So if I say hello, as you can see, it has now changed. If I resize it, you might be thinking, what was that name property that we saw for a moment? Where is it? Name. So this is actually what the form is referred to in the code. So you can think of it like its unique name in code, but this is not what appears here. And that's the same thing when you have some sort of like label where you display text on the screen, which is covered in a separate video. Same principle. Name in brackets like this is always the behind the scenes unique name that is used. So that's something to bear in mind. You can set stuff like minimum size, maximum size. Obviously, it has a current size at the moment, but you can set in min and maximum size. You can set padding, all the different type of buttons you want, icons. Like literally, there's so many properties here. This is what makes Visual Basic amazing, especially the form version of it. That yet there's so much that you just don't have to do. And another cool thing is if you double click your form anywhere, if I double click it takes us to the code form one underscore load so this is basically the code that is run when the form is loaded so here is where we would maybe set up any variables set up any objects on our screen maybe we're going to connect to a database retrieve data put it into a label put it into a button that sort of stuff we can even set properties about the form itself so if i put me dot and you know i can change different properties so if we scroll down let's see uh, let's just change the default background color so if i do equals and if i do color dot let's do red i like red probably won't be the best red for this uh, let's have a look what's gone wrong Okay, so it doesn't <laughs> let me change the color for some reason. That is not nice at all. Not nice at all. Hmm. Let me try something else. Okay, so the background color it does not like. Let me do the me dot text. So if I change the text and I change this to Bob, and now I run it. I didn't see it says Bob because even though if we go back to here, go to properties, we put hello, but when the form is loaded. It actually changes it so anything that you want to do to do with the form or any other objects you would do it right here you can set the width and height as well you could do like me dot width so let's set the width to a thousand and twenty four pixels just a thousand and twenty four you don't put five and twenty four pixels it knows that it's in pixels now it's a thousand and twenty four so that's it for just a basic overview of what a form is over the next few videos, I'm going to show you all of the different components and how to use them in Visual Basic. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next programming video.